Vicky girl here? Oh, there she is. Say hi to the camera there. Hi, Vicky. Come on over here, guys. Say hi to Blockbuster. Exactly. 
Exactly. We got a little Buffalo Bills trivia here, or uh, paraphernalia. Andre Reach jersey. First man back to camp this year. All right. What First else we got here? Sign up. Corny. Yeah, Cornelius Bennett, the biscuit. The biscuit. Changed his number after. Uh, who was the linebacker with 97 before Bennett? Uh, I don't remember. Shows you how much Madison. I remember. There's the man. Madison went over to uh, Indianapolis. Bennett took his old number back. Ken Hall, all pro. Center Ken Hall. Can I say? Okay. Let's take a look over at Jim Kelly's jerseys. Jim, little Jim Kelly trivia here. Starting out with the Buffalo Bills jersey. Where did he play before then? Houston Gamblers, University of Miami. Ah, USFL jersey. And some PA. University of Miami. And uh, Bantam he, High School. Which is number from 11 to 12. Yep. All right. Had to be because he was a uh, Terry Bradshaw fan. That's my guess. Terry Bradshaw. Let's see what else we got around here. Kelly's even got Dan Marino's jersey in here. Something for the boys back in Fort Lauderdale. There we go. That's for Wayne. Okay, back at the sign-up table. Contestants are coming in. Just 
going to restart the game, and the first person who scores next wins. It's not like you play an entire game after you're still tied. You just restart it. Whoever scores first, it's like sudden death in most sports. That person will be the winner. So you got to know that. When you hit restart, you're going to want to get the ball and try to score first. And uh, also, uh, I forgot to mention this, but this is pretty cool. I've never even done this. If you're a champion tonight in either Nintendo or in Genesis, you get to throw out the first pitch of the Bison's game tonight. They're going to get you set up with a jersey and take you out on Pilot Field. You'll be on the mound throwing out the first pitch before the Bison's game, which starts at 7 tonight. So that's why we're going to get 
weekend at the Fort Lauderdale Convention Center. Good morning again, guys. Good morning. In, in a few minutes, we're going to discuss with some experts at whether video games actually help or hurt at school. What do you think? I think they help, actually. Yes, I they agree. They help more than they, they help more than they, they don't help. How do you think they help? Well, as far as like eye-hand coordination and uh, to, as far as concentrating, um, like when you're uh, in a hard part of a game, you got to have a lot of patience and be able to concentrate on a game. And then once you meet the challenge, you get like a sort of like set of accomplishments, like feeling of accomplishments. So it's better. It's better for the person. And uh, you have to have yeah. nerves when you're like deciding on what to do in what kind of situation. Well, Troy and Greco, uh, good luck again in the in the championships and congratulations. And uh, hope it does help you in school. Thanks a lot for joining okay. us this morning. Thanks.